Hello guys and welcome back to another Star Wars video from me and in today's Star Wars video we're gonna take a look at an awesome awesome looking 12 inch uh, Hasbro figure from back in the day for, of Count Dooku we got a 12 inch Count Dooku doll actually here's one of the bigger figures that Hasbro released um, I guess since Power of the Force 2 up until Revenge of the Sith, I believe. So they released a bunch of 12 inch figures and there are some really good ones in that bunch that they released and they released a whole lot of them. And some of the best are Django Fett for example, uh, with all the armor pieces and the second one is Count Dooku right in front of you and as you can see this is a beautiful looking figure. I'm super super happy with this figure it is amazing as you can tell a great looking head sculpt here right off the bat I'm such a big fan of this figure and the head sculpt um, I got this one not too long ago I didn't show it in my haul video but it was only five bucks I found it found it online for five bucks it is complete with the lightsaber uh, with the uh, cape as well because the cape is uh, partially removable um, and then you do have you know the boots everything everything is complete I just don't have a box of course but the rest is complete and again First thing we're gonna take a look at, look at that awesome head sculpt. This definitely looks like Christopher Lee. I'm such a big fan of this head sculpt. Especially for a Hasbro figure, Hasbro 12 inch figure at that. Because they released a bunch of Lukes and Hans and whatnot. And those head sculpts are really not that good. But this one definitely looks like Christopher Lee from a lot of different angles as you can see. This is Christopher Lee for sure and I love it. Such an amazing head sculpt, as you can see the hairline as well. It looks super, super nice. Such a big fan of that. Um, so they released this figure back in 2002 or so, and it comes with one accessory, of course, that being the lightsaber here, as you can see. It even has like a little clamp there, that little piece, that round piece. You can actually attach the lightsaber to the belt uh, somewhere there, or so you can't see it too well but somewhere around the other side you can actually uh, put that in and have like um, a hilt attached to his belt because the the red blade of the lightsaber is removable it's a very long blade but the lightsaber itself looks really good it has some detailing on it nothing too fancy or so but again this is a Hasbro 12 inch figure so the details back then just a little bit less of quality than nowadays I guess but um then you do have like the cape here and at the cape section you can see those little um, I think in the movie it's like a chain that he wears around the cape and here it is recreated with some sort of like I don't know plastic doesn't look that great to be honest but you can unclamp the cape on uh, that side right here you can basically unclamp it and then you do have like the cape removed for a big part of the arm so that he can pose this arm around and that's something that I did here I posed the hand around a little bit to basically hold the cape as you can see he has one of those stances where he holds the cape as you can see that there you go so you do have that the cape itself is really nice uh, I would say but the only issue that I have is click there can see a little hole in the back and he does have four of those holes in his cape now the reason why they did that is because they could basically put um, those iron wires uh, around the figure in the packaging to hold the figure in the packaging and that's the only reason so basically it's a little bit of a shame that they did that but other than that the cape looks really good as you can see there is some nice detailing here on the cloth piece and it looks really good. The stitching is really well done as well. So I do like that. Uh, can maybe turn him around so that you can see it a little bit better. There you go. You can see all the wrinkles and the folds. It looks really natural. So I do like that. You can see all those holes here for six actually. So got that. 
Again, a little bit of a shame, but take a look at the back here of the head sculpt. You can see the hairline, the gray hair with a nice black wash over it. It looks super, super good. Real love it. Again, I'm such a big fan of this figure or, or of this um, head sculpt, really. It's such a great looking head sculpt. I'm a big, big fan of that. So you do have that. Uh, other than that, you do have his regular robes that he wears in the movie with the black uh, with the brown belt here and it looks really good it's sculpted nicely got a little bit of black wash again to to basically accentuate some of the sculpt work cloth robes here you can see the stitching at, at on the side the pants here and then you do have the black boots which you can't really see but you do have that as well so overall really nice piece in terms of detailing I'm a big big fan of it um, the rest of the figure it's basic articulation wise it's basically like an, an action man from the 90s which is basically um, ball jointed head ball and shoulders uh, ball and sh elbows swivel in the wrist you can see the swivel there there's also a hinge in the finger so you can basically um, open and close the, the, the hand to basically put the lightsaber in it there is a swivel, no, there's even a ball joint at the torso, middle section torso, ball inch at the uh, hips, and there is knee articulation as well, so really well articulation, but um, the main selling point for this figure, especially for me, is the head sculpt, without a doubt, because that looks amazing, I'm such a big fan of it. So happy that I got it, especially for the price, especially for a Hasbro figure. I'm very, very impressed with this piece. So, uh, yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will be back with some more videos very soon. So, until then, keep collecting and may the force be with you. Bye.